guys, what's up? It's the Electrical Code Coach here, and I wanted to take a minute and show you the Wheeler Fat Wrench. It's actually a screwdriver. It's a torque screwdriver. It's the cheapest one that you can buy on Amazon. We're going to take it out, test this thing. I wanted to unbox it with you, and then in this video, we're going to show you some of it in live action shots and kind of give you our take on it. With the new torque requirements in 2017 and 2020, guys, we might as well get used to it. We're going to have to torque switches, receptacles, breakers, the whole nine yards. So I'm trying to find us an inexpensive uh, version that we can buy that we can all have on our tool belt without spending a couple bills. So let's go ahead and take a look at this thing. So when you take it out of the box, I got it out played with it already a little bit but let's go ahead and look at what comes in it when you unbox it here it comes with uh, what looks like is going to turn into the case the ultimate case it comes with the instruction manual and it also comes with the screwdriver itself so this one goes all the way up to 60 my Klein one only goes up to 45 so uh, we just got to watch out for that which is really important it going up to 60 is a huge deal it's the, got the pull out handle and you just turn and then you'll turn till you find your respective spot and then it'll lock back in and uh, I already played with it on 15. I don't know if that's zooming well there, but I'll try to get you guys some better shot. It was uh, very foggy today, so I've had some foggy shots throughout the day. But it also comes with a ton of bits, which actually is a pretty big bonus. So it comes with a small socket adapter. It comes with a couple Torx bits. Looks like a couple Allen sockets uh, or Allen bits. And then it comes with uh, four different size flatheads, which really, guys... Is pretty sweet. So I often use flat heads when I'm doing receptacles. It also comes with a big fat flat. So if you are doing those pesky um, ground bars and stuff that have the fatter flat, you're going to be able to get a better torque with this. Here's the score, guys. So this is the one that I previously had. This one costs about four bills, and uh, in between, you know, two fifty and four hundred, I've seen it priced for. I think I paid about three sixty nine plus tax at the time. I think I paid a little bit too much, but it's okay. So, with that being said, this thing only goes up to forty pounds. It's Klein Tools. I, I love Klein Kleins. Um, I'm just not really impressed with Klein's Klein's quality lately. So. Um, you guys can let me know what you think in the comments below. It seems like their, their quality is dropping significantly. But this is a Klein one. I had a feeling, but I had nothing to compare it to. And with the price I paid, I used it for as long as I could. And now, just so I didn't have to worry about losing this thing, I went ahead and bought me this one here. We're going to go ahead and test it out today. So right off the rip, this thing, when you got over 30 pounds... It would start stripping the screwdriver, stri stripping the screws every single time. I would fight, struggle, have to change bits from flat to square, back and forth, blah, blah, blah. Every time I would get up and over 30 pounds, it was a fight and it was a struggle. This one here has been a breeze all the way up to 50 pounds. No stripping, no questions asked, great torque. So I don't know what it is if that last little bit, it just doesn't, I don't know what's going on here. Don't have a clue. It's done it since the day I bought it. And I've made thousands of good connections with this thing. But I want to go ahead and put this one in live action. So I've had trouble with this one. Once you get over 30 pounds since the day I bought it, we're going to throw it down here in the trash or the bottom of the can. And uh, I want to go ahead and use this one. So right now I'm dialed into 40 pounds, which if you guys have ever used a Torx screwdriver. So this is the max setting that Klein can even do is 40 pounds. Uh, this one's dialed up to 40 pounds and we're going to start from there. So let's go ahead. I've got us a six gauge conductor here simulated. We are going to um, go ahead and try it out. So I'm at 40 pounds now. Get it dialed in. 40, no problem. Just clicked, done. I would have fought my Klein screwdriver for five minutes to get that connection to click. No questions asked. All right, let's go ahead and dial it up to 45, which the Klein one does not even do. Here's 45 pounds on the wheeler. Let's go ahead, get her in there. Nice, 45 pounds, no questions asked. Lots of connections are 45 pounds. Let's go ahead and dial it up. Now, these lugs are not rated for any more than... I think this is a 2-pole 30. So these lugs are only rated for 25, so it may start to strip now. These are only rated for 25 inch-pounds. But let's go ahead and try it at 50 and just see what happens. I might have to use a beefier breaker to go higher. This is um, 50 pounds right here. Got it. Click. No worries. Let's jump up to 55. 55. Love it. 55. Let's go all the way up to 60. So this thing's maxed out, 60 pounds. And at this point... After this point, my torque wrench can, can pick up after this. So this dials me up to where I don't have a gap. See, before we had a gap where it went from 40 and then my inch pound uh, on my wrenches goes down to 60. So this is 60. This gets me past the gap. 
I think I've stripped out the lug, but it clicked right away. I don't know if you guys could hear that in the video. It clicked and then I went to go do it again just to see if we could get it to do it again. So clicked at 60 and then I've stripped the lug out completely because those rugs are only, lugs are only rated. And I didn't strip the hole. I've stripped the lug. So it's actually just turning inside there. So I'm going to make sure I throw this breaker in the trash. So at the end of the day, guys, I have used this on receptacles now. I've used it on breakers. I've used it on terminal bars, on bus bars. I'll have to shoot, uh, you know, some update videos. And if you guys decide to buy this, you can get it in the link below. Uh, let me know how what, what your experience was like. It comes with the bits. It's like it's under $60, I believe it is. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Please hit that thumbs up button. And let's go ahead and get to it. Mm -hmm.